Visualization is the sum of two things, desire and imagination. And this is something that I've truly, truly started to understand by watching a TV show on Netflix. And I know if you listen to any of those social media influencers, all the different motivational speakers, you're not supposed to watch TV. You're supposed to wake up super early and do all these crazy things, these cold plunge, work out, all that stuff in order to be greater successful. And honestly, that's not true. Watching this TV show called Vikings, it's about the story of Ragnar Lothbrook. Okay. And that's actually what today's episode is going to be about. For Mindset Wednesday, we're going to talk about how Ragnar Lothbrook accomplished his goals. He did something that no other Viking ever did in Viking history. And because he did two things, he desired it and he imagined it. And he's not the only one. I'm currently reading the book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. And in this book, he also touches upon multiple stories of different people who desired and imagined something and really visualized themselves accomplishing certain things. And so to get back into the story of Ragnar Lothbrok and the Vikings, Ragnar was a farmer, just a typical everyday person like me and you, nobody special, nobody special, not born into wealth. He had no lineage to any wealthy Viking or any kingship or anything like that. He was a farmer who became a king, who became one of the most legendary Vikings of all time. All because he had a desire and an imagination to sail west. To go to places where he felt like he could farm land. To go to places that he wanted to settle. That's what he cared about. He didn't care to raid, and of course this may not be historically correct. I'm just going based off this TV show. He didn't care to raid. He didn't care to really kill people or anything like that. He just wanted better farmland to provide for his family. And he just dreamed of going west, of traveling west and exploring different land. And possibly finding a land that is rich for people to farm. And he did it. He was able to sail west and he discovered England. And there, there was a bunch of battles. A bunch of wars happened. But he was able to set up an encampment for Vikings to settle and start farming. All of that became possible because of Ragnar Lothbrok. And while dealing with different people, different Englishmen, he learned of a city called Paris in the kingdom of Francia, which is what they would call France. And he heard that this city was so beautiful that it was something that you had to see. And so he started to desire and imagine being able to travel to Paris. And lo and behold, maybe three, four, five years later, that happened. He went to Paris. He was defeated. He had to go back to Norway. But then, after his defeat, he started dreaming and imagining seizing Paris, sacking it, taking control of it. And the next time he went, he was able to accomplish that. Desire and imagination. Those are probably two things that we are not doing enough in our day-to-day -day life in order to be successful. I want to translate that even to my own personal life. So for me, I'm currently working in a seven-day on, seven-day off position. I've always imagined myself being in this type of role. I've talked to friends about it. i talked to family about it. Like, how cool would it be to be able to work seven days and have seven days off so I can just travel, not have to use PTO? I mean, if I did use PTO, because I'm one, one week on, one week off, if I take a week off, I literally have three weeks off now. I can go travel to Japan and spend three weeks there. I can now travel to Australia and do three weeks or three weeks in Europe or three weeks in South America. I want to explore the world. So I always envision being able to have a position to where I have seven days on and seven days off. I desired it. I imagined it. I visualized the things I would do if I had this position. And then an opportunity came. 
and I had to seize it. And that's exactly what I did. And so it doesn't have to be just for careers or jobs. It could be about a lifestyle. Maybe you desire something. Maybe it's a car, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari. Maybe it's a purse, a Louis Vuitton purse. Whatever it is, if you desire and imagine and really visualize yourself being in those moments, it will happen. Because when you're doing that, it feeds into the power of your subconscious mind, which is why this book ties into what we're discussing. Ragnar Lothbrook, one of the things that I would always see him do in this TV show was he would always be in silence. He would be alone a lot. Of course, back then they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have TV, they didn't have those distractions. But you would always see him kind of laying down in a field where there's grass or flowers and he'll just look up to the clouds and he'll just be thinking about Paris or he'll be thinking about settling in England and building a farm, building farmland and, and just having crops that, that are endless, fruitful, just providing for his family. Every day. You would see him just laying there. It didn't matter where. He was always just laying somewhere alone. Even if there was a party or a large gathering and everybody was celebrating, you would always find him off into the corner by himself, just kind of lost in his own world, in his own head, just desiring something and imagining it, and then truly visualizing that thing coming to fruition. That's the formula. You desire it, you imagine it, and then you visualize it to fruition. I did it with my own job. And now I'll be transparent. I'm actually going to be applying this to my health and wealth transformation. Right now I'm on a journey where I'm super focused on my health, right? And so what I'm doing, I'm making sure that I desire and I imagine what a healthy version of Joven would be. A healthy version of me would not be someone who's always eating candy. A healthy version of me would be somebody who has control of his sugar impulse, has control of his sugar addiction. That's the healthy version of me. The healthy version of me would slim down a little bit. The healthy version of me would make sure to get at least eight hours of sleep a night. That is the healthy version of me. The healthy version of me is spending quality time with family and friends. The healthy version of me is saying no to the job when the job is taking me away from what I enjoy. Because it's no longer about the money, it's about the health. So I desire to be healthy. I am visualizing and imagining myself. So I'm imagining myself being healthy and I'm visualizing what that looks like. What kind of posture would I have? Would my shoulders be rolled back, chest up, head up? When people talk to me, will I look them into the eyes or would I look, look away from them when, whenever I'm talking to them? What would a healthy person do? Would a healthy person have a nutritionist? Would a healthy person go get massages every month? Would a healthy person have a therapist or a counselor to discuss things with? The things that I imagine a healthy person to do, I am now manifesting that. I am now applying it to my daily routine because I truly desire to be healthy. And so it will come to fruition. Another thing is wealth. I truly desire to be a millionaire. I truly desire to be plentiful. So one of the things that I'm doing right now is just imagining Every month, I'm having like $17,000 just hit the bank account. Every January, February, March, April, like I can see it. $17,000 and 10 cents, $17,000 and 31 cents. I'm, I'm seeing these large numbers come into my bank account every single month. I desire it. I'm imagining it. I feel it. I feel the money flowing through me like a current. It's going to come to me and then I'm going to share it with others. I'm going to reinvest in the business. I'm going to 
reinvest in, in, in people. I'm going to reinvest in friends and family. I'm going to find a way to not only allow myself to be plentiful, but to help plant seeds in other people and help them be plentiful. That's what I desire and imagine. And it's only going to come to fruition within the next two to six years. Because I'm really visualizing myself. I'm visualizing that this is happening. I'm visualizing that I'll be traveling all over the world, not just the country, the world, to give speeches, to educate people, to build relationships with people. I'm imagining myself walking into different rooms and being able to invest in private equity, throwing on a suit, being in the boardrooms, making the tough calls and the tough decisions. I'm imagining growing my business to six figures. I desire and I imagine that. And over time, it will happen. There's no need to rush it. Just continue to imagine it and desire it and visualize that. And one of the cool things about this book is when you start desiring and imagining things, the power of your subconscious mind can make it come into fruition. Have you ever had one of those moments where it's like you're stuck on a problem all day and all night and then somehow you wake up with the answer? It's because your subconscious mind is working 24-7. It works 24-7. So even while you're sleeping, if you go to bed thinking about something, desiring something, imagining something, your brain will work on that objective or that goal or that idea to make it come to fruition for you. And if you have something working 24-7, I guarantee you it will come to fruition. So if you control your thoughts, if you control your thoughts, you control your destiny. Control your thoughts and you will control your destiny. Desire one thing. Visualize it. Imagine it. Really be present in the moment with, with that desire. Really plan out that picture. And think about it every day when you wake up and when you go to bed so it can feed into your subconscious mind and you start planting little seeds in your subconscious mind that will bear fruit that is fruitful, that is overbearing in due time. And so that's it for Mindset Wednesdays. I just really wanted to share the story of Ragnar Lothbrok and how impactful it was for me to watch this TV show called Vikings and it's on Netflix right now and I believe it was six seasons about like 20 episodes a season six seasons I just finished it today and it's a powerful story how a farmer became a king and became revered as one of the most well-known Vikings in history all because he desired and imagined being able to sail west that's how it all started and so a small thing like that, just desiring and imagining, could lead to you planting seeds in your subconscious mind to bear fruit that is plentiful, that is overbearing. So if you control your thoughts, you control your destiny. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Mindset Wednesdays. If you haven't yet, please, please, please go ahead, switch over to YouTube, like, subscribe, comment on our channel please tap in all right sometimes i share some content on youtube that's not on the podcast all right and vice versa if you're listening on youtube i highly encourage you to go to caps rx podcast and go ahead subscribe hit the automatic downloads because sometimes there's some stuff that's audio only some stuff that's video only or some stuff that's both so you got to stay tuned you got to check it out and we are on instagram tiktok and LinkedIn at new underscore Caps Arcs podcast. If you have any questions, anything we can do to help you get into the right mindset, please do not hesitate to DM. Please do not hesitate to message me. Because this is what it's about. If we control our thoughts, we can control our destiny to have a successful life. Thank you, guys.